Hi, hello, and howdy. This is Sheila. Welcome back to the Painted Pig Studio. <laughs> and I do not know if I have my act together, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Um, I thought I'd give you a little preview of the journal I'm going to be doing next. Uh, this will be, it'll be one, I don't want to fold it yet because it's uh, not really good and dry. But, um, it'll be black, white, and beige. Maybe some grays. Um, it's going to be a one signature soft cover journal with, um, the stitching, the binding will be visible, and then this will be covering. So, if you can imagine, it'll be... The front will look something like that. And then I think I'm just going to do a regular, um, 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 <laughs> hole punch with a, um, eyelet, eyelet and hole punch with, um, si uh, Sorry, silk, most likely. I've got a few papers together. I don't know that I'll use them all. But, um, I did do some dyeing with, uh, lace and had fun with that. And, uh, this someone gifted me. Veronica, actually. And, um, it looks like handmade paper or something. So, I'm going to put that in there. Here is a really pretty I think this is from it's either from Artie Mays or um, Bohemian Crafting um, yeah, I made some library pockets with my um, silhouette and uh, a couple of these I've got some uh, Rachel printouts Roxy Creations got a dictionary page an envelope um, that would be in a different one. And then I've got some digitals by Cotton and Twig, which I've used before, and I really like her. That's just three. I haven't printed them all. And I've got um, some very old book page, some drawing paper that's been dyed, music paper, and so, some or all of that will be in it. Probably just some, because uh, I want some more decorative stuff in there as well. Okay, and let me show you um, one more thing. Um, I know they still make this stuff. Cash register tape. Um, those... I still can't think of what they were called. Like calculators. But you pulled the thing and it had the thing it had the paper that on the row. Well anyway, I tea dyed some and I had some uh, in my stash already done. And I um so these I was playing around with and I just started stamping them. And after stamping them I just made little uh, raggedy notebooks, or, yeah, out of them, just playing around, and I thought those turned out cute, and uh, for sure there'll be one in that, um, that new journal, and then I was thinking of a snippet roll, and so... I thought, well, instead of a snippet row, why don't I just use that as a backing for, um, and make some tag toppers. And here is an example of what I'm talking about. This add-on right here to my masterboard tag, it started out like this. As one of these 
and I just make my little decoration and then just cut it and add it to the top of a tag like that so I mean in that one fell swoop you have your tag ready to go and I was some of these turned out pretty cute I thought and um like here's some already cut apart there's a horizontal one and I'm loving these Tim Holtz peoples using them here's a small one oops tummy you just ate and it they would also which this is one is one of the first ones actually and as you can see I have the tape I added some collage basically and um, the little figure with the clock and the doily and I had that and this is something from Aliexpress I think it's a sticker as a matter of fact but I thought that would be cute behind it on a glycine bag so I will probably do that with it and I've got this holding it all together so I won't forget <laughs> and so I thought we'd, we would uh, do a couple of them how's that okay let me get my stuff and I'll be right back okay before we get started I just want to make sure I've got in frame here <laughs> Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to say a big hugs and kisses to um, Lydia. Um, Monica. Yeah. And Tammy. Um, thank you so much for your kind and encouraging comments. And um, I really do thank you and appreciate you more than you can know. So... Hugs and kisses to you, girls. Now, uh, what I thought I would do is start at the top. Okay, so I thought I would start at the top. <clears throat> and I'm going to... I've cut this down. And <clears throat> I'll ink it just a little bit with... Um, I'm trying out my new tie-dye. Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. So it's not very dark, and um, I'm hoping that I'm gonna like that about it. Okay, let's see if I can get to this. <laughs> it's a bit of a reach. So, in the mandatory, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Seems like whenever someone starts to glue, that's when they ask that question. <laughs> I have watched so many videos, as you guys know, <clears throat> and um, probably let myself get intimidated by them sometimes. But what I've realized is the um, ladies that can craft on camera craft live so to speak on camera I don't think they're quite as picky as I am now that's not to say that they're that my work is better I'm not saying that at all uh, what I'm saying is that I think they're more decisive in their crafting and um, they don't dilly daddle poot around like I do and uh, so they can, and plus they're faster um, just in general because they have a better command of their hands. And once again, I'll direct my comments to seniors that um, perhaps are having arthritis issues or shaky hand issues like me. Um, hey, don't let that stop you 
from this craft. It's so forgiving. Um, plus, it doesn't have to be perfect, as we always say. So, um, now, I, I, let me stop myself and say that I realize this is going to go off the side a little bit, but, me, me. excuse me, <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter as long as there's a tag under there, you know what I'm saying, as long as the tag's wide enough. And I know I'm making a mess on my black cardstock here. But that's what I do. I make messes. <laughs> so, I mean, they're just they're just very decisive. And um they plop something down and they say, Yeah, that looks fine. Or that looks good. I like that. And that's it. Sheila flops something down and says, Well, I don't know. Maybe there's this other thing might look better. Or maybe it needs this or that. Or So. That just may be one of the things that I need to work on. So, let me lift this up and look. I'm just adding, this was, a, um, I think, a freebie from um, Scrapbooking With Me. Um, I'm on their mailing list, their emailing list, so uh, they put out a freebie uh, or two um, every month, which I think is very generous of them. Okay, so now I'm going to move on down to some Edith Holden. Book page, and I'm going to leave space to cut this in between and to, to fold it. I mean, because that's the, the whole deal. Well, that and the fact that I just wanted something to do with this because I've got so much of it. Um, I used it uh, for layering a lot when I was art journaling, and uh, but I've it's one of those things that I just kind of came across, forgot, oh, had forgotten about, and I came across some that were already dyed, so started playing with them with the stamping, and then started this business. And I could see where this would be useful to me. Uh, I don't know about others, but. Uh, And uh, as I showed you the preview of uh, the next journal, I'm also going to try to do two other similar journals at the same time, if I can. And um, before you ask, Josie is finished except for one thing. And um, I was going to go and pick that up. Again, like I said, I'm picky, <laughs> so I couldn't I couldn't let her go without getting this one little thing. And plus, I'm procrastinating a bit on the story. I have some of it, but uh, I've had to go back and do a little bit more research to fill in. And the timeline is is going to be off, but that's okay. It doesn't, I mean, it's not like I'm writing a historical novel or something. <laughs> it's just about a little small town. It's past, and some folks that um, could have met there and lived there. And I'm going to uh, see about a butterfly, maybe for that, or I know, maybe a snippet. Let's see if we've got something that will, that will fit on there. Something small. A bunch of mushrooms. They would become on. Oh. Now this is small. Berry. 
I can't even read what it says. What do you think? Will that be good enough? What would Gail do? <laughs> I don't know, but I know what she was going to do. <laughs> and that is give it a little bit of this ink. I think I've got some. I know I've got some. Small snippets that I have put um, crystal, Nuvo crystal glaze or uh, glossy accents on. And, um, but I think they're still a little bit too large for that. Um, See, is there anything else I might could put on here under the birdie so he's got something to perch on? Let's put that there. Put just a little ink. So, Josie's, Josie turned out pretty good, I think. Um, I think you probably, if you've watched any of those videos, you probably... Um, got a good idea. All right, now glue. There we go. I need to refill my little bottle. That's one of the things I was going to do is pick up some more. Well, I guess I'm going to have to order more art glitter glue because I don't think there's any place around here I can buy it. I don't think Hobby Lobby had it. I do believe I looked. I got the, um, let's see if I can straighten that up a little bit. It's crap so quick. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't believe I saw any. I know my chair squeaks. I keep forgetting to see about that. I feel like my fingers are getting gluey. So I'm getting white. Okay. And I might as well do this while I'm at it. Now it looks like I'm only going to be able to get about one more on here. And let me just check. And that will fit. I'm going to tag this size. Okay. Pull that one over. And do this one. And again, I'm not worried about it going over the sides a bit. Because once it's on the tag... It should be fine. Okay, and this is some uh, Tim Holtz. I had it figured the other way, but let me just see. I may like it this way better. <laughs> waffle waffle and then the butterfly hmm. while well, putting it that way the butterfly doesn't fit so well let me move it down just a bit Hmm. I can't see that well. Yeah, I think I'm going to try that. I don't know if this is a sticker or not. No, I don't think it is. Okay. Let's 
So, um, well, get my glue operating properly. Hopefully that's the problem and not that I'm run out. <laughs> So there will be a flip through uh, in the near future. I've got, I was going to, um, I don't know if I finished my thought, but I was going to go pick up what I was missing this afternoon, but I just found out I'm keeping my grandson. That's what the beep beep was about. Which is fine. We uh, he was so sweet last night. They came over and um, I had picked up a little uh, rocket ship tent for him because I thought I was going to keep him all day tomorrow. But as it turned out, uh, not. Today is uh, my son and his wife's tenth anniversary. So, um, I wanted to have some things here to occupy him, and I had set up the little tent. It's so cute, and he's um, on a cute uh, Mickey Mouse cartoons, the older ones, actually, not the, um, the ones that are newer. hope I got that in the right place. And, um... So, a lot of times, that's, that's what we'll do after... Oh, I forgot to put that. Hmm. Maybe I can still do it. Um, we will... Um, while my son and husband watch wrestling on Wednesday nights... Don't ask me. Um, um, a lot of times, that's what... Uh, Isaac and, I, Isaac and I will do is go into my bedroom and watch the Mickey. I'm just going to put this right there where the butterfly is, the glue, and hopefully that's going to work out. Okay. Now I can't see if I got that straight. Yeah, I kind of do. And this is some um, digitals, I think, also from scrapbooking with me um, a while back, um, that I have printed on Avery Clear sticky paper, sticker paper. And I just cut them out. And so they're kind of like washy now. How is that? So there you go. What do you think? All right. I don't know. I might can get some of this. Let's give it a go. And all this is is just gauze or um, um, cheesecake, cheesecake, cheesecloth. <laughs> I must need something sweet. <laughs> Okay, and I just I'm just going to trim off what falls over. Okay, let's see, here we go. Hey, yeah. Well. <laughs> Maybe too much glue and not enough gauze, huh? 
So, there we have it, and, uh, let me see if I have any. Yeah, I have some, um, substrates, as they say. I think that's what they call that I might could use. Not for that one. Now they're they're over there. The um, master boards that I've done. Um, speaking of which, all right, Sheila, pause it. While that dries, I'll show you. Uh, these are the ones I've already cut down. But, um, yeah, I just did the Did It Girl with Us Stanley style with a um, book page. And just while I was watching videos or um, The Watcher, <laughs> I just finished that one. Um, in the afternoons, that's, uh, I guiltily admit that I do watch much more television than I did before we moved. I don't know why that is. But anyway, uh, I just took my scrap bin and, um, book page, glue, all that I required and set and did these master boards. So I'm set for master boards for a while. <laughs> but it's fun and I just I really didn't make a dent in my scraps, which was the point. And uh, so but I've got Good stuff to work with. This one I've backed already. Yeah, I think that this is going to work for tags and journal cards. Well, that's totally not straight. I may have to cover that up. It's going to bother me. And there you go. Uh, this isn't this, Louie. This is from Janie B. Journals like that. So, uh, that kind of catches you up and shows you what I've been up to. And I'm, I'm really anxious to show Josie to you. Uh, like I said, I think uh, she's turned out well. And as soon as I t add that one little thing in, <laughs> we will we will do a flip through. And so, see, now, I could come down here and stamp this. Probably will. Um, there, I started to tell you about And there, I go to talking again. I also made some little um, side-of-the-page clusters. I like making those. So, there you go. Um... This could be side of the page, or it could be a small belly band. Don't ask me what this is. <laughs> Just I was playing with some packaging and uh, vellum. So, um, as I was saying, um, be looking for the flip through of Josie and. Um, I'm going to do a, a relaunch of my Etsy store. Well, I don't, not a relaunch, but a um, a restock. And so, uh, along with Josie, hopefully there'll be a couple more things in there. Let me see how that's. If you can see, yeah, you can see it. Mm. So, um, thank you for watching. 
appreciate it so so much and um, if it was anything was to your liking please give the video a thumbs up I would appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already um, and I I'm really, really would love it if you would um, and with more subscribers and uh, you know more views naturally that's gonna encourage me to uh, do more and do better okay I hope you enjoyed it as I said so uh, if you will take care stay well and hugs and kisses until next time bye <laughs>